Today we have Kyle Guy and Ty Jerome talking about Virginia's run to the 2019 national title presented by DraftKings Sportsbook. Let's kind of turn the clock back a little bit. Um, so I remember seeing both of you. I was there for that Gardner Webb game in Columbia. I was shooting back and forth between Columbia and somewhere else. I forget where it was, but I was going back and forth each day. And, uh, and I remember seeing both of you after that game. And I think both of you told me the same thing. You were both like, we were nervous going to that game. We were, we were nervous going in. Take me through what, what that was like, because you're waiting, waiting, waiting. And you're going in thinking like, all right, it happened once. Like, this can't happen again, aren't you? Absolutely. I mean, but I mean, it's just like when I said with the free throws, like it was a good nervous, like a good, like, like we, like you said, we've been so anxious just waiting for that game to finally be like, okay, we can, we can write the wrong, write the ship. Um, obviously we're down again at half, weren't we? And yeah. so it was, um, yeah, it, there was, there was, was like, right there was some, there was some like scares like during the game, but after halftime, I think what, what did we do, just look at each other at halftime, like halftime, come at on, halftime, bro. yeah, we were in the locker room yeah. and we were just like, like, come on, bro, we won. We're not, we're not doing this again. At halftime, and, and but when we were down fourteen, and I think they hit a floater, and it was damn near a road game in there. Yeah, they hit yeah, a floater. Was. We caught again. out, and we were walking back to the huddle, and I was like, oh my god, we're about to lose again. <laughs> No, I was, I was so like the most nervous. Like, I, 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 we don't. I don't really get nervous. Like Purdue, Auburn, yeah, Texas either. Tech. Like it was. We were all calm. Kyle was like, "Yo, don't worry, we're gonna win." Like I was like, "Yeah, we're like everyone was poised." You know what I mean? Right. That game. That's the most nervous I've ever been in my life. So uh, the locker room at halftime is it like you can hear a pin drop? Like you're looking at each other, or, or is somebody vocal? No. Once we got to halftime, yeah. we just it was like, oh yeah. Yeah, so, the pin the pin could drop for like yeah the pin could drop for like ten seconds and then we just kind of looked up at each other like yeah. what do we do like what do we, here we go and then and then we uh, we figured it out uh, I think going into the half we cut it to like six and we went on like a yeah. eight zero run and they stopped scoring yeah. and then came, they scored like fourteen points and like you know the, before we came out the game in garbage time you made right. it entertaining I mean it was it was fun for that I mean I know it was our fun job for you guys. <laughs> but like. It was entertaining for me sitting there saying, at least it's going to be a game in the second half. Yeah. Nobody thought it would be. Yeah. Um, all yeah. right, so then let, let's move forward to the Elite Eight. You know, maybe one of the, I don't know, one of the greatest. Yes, games. say it. Say it. Double tournament history. I mean, yeah. the shit that happened in that game was just insane. Like, like, I mean, Carson, right? Like, you're watching Carson. What are you thinking when Carson Edwards is just going ballistic? I'm like, damn, that's great defense <laughs> for like 90% of his shots. I remember telling every person that guarded him, and I was guarding him too, so I didn't tell myself this, but I was like, hey, that's good defense. Don't worry about it. But like in the back of my mind, I'm like, God, he's got 40. Like, you got you know to stop him. Did you guys know he had whatever? I don't even know what he finished with 42, I think. He finished with 42. Yeah. Did you know? I mean, are you I mean, aware knew, at that point? I mean, I didn't know it was 42, but I knew it was a lot. I knew it was over 30. <laughs> I thought it was like 65. <laughs> <laughs> That's what it felt like. Uh, bro, I've never, I've never, like, after a game, Kyle knows how competitive I am. Like, I don't care who you are. I'll never, like, want to talk to you, win or lose. I could get, I, if you're not on my team, I don't care about you, you know. After that game, and I knew him a little bit. He was in our high school class, so I kind of knew him. After that game, I went home. I messaged him on Instagram, and I said, "Bro, that was the craziest performance I've ever seen in my life. Played against or watched." And I just want to say, like, I almost felt bad he lost. I was like, "Bro, I just yeah, want to yeah. say, like, he didn't deserve to lose. He didn't, but someone had to. I didn't want it to be us." So yeah, thanks. I, I was like, "Listen, bro." And then after that, like, we had the same agents, so we did pre-draft together. We became super close. But really, I remember telling him, "Yo, that was the craziest performance I've ever seen in my life. Like, that Great. was." All right, so so take me both of you, take me through from your vantage points with whatever it was, six seconds left, and your vantage point tie was a little clearer than Kyle's. Uh, missing the free throw, you down two, you missed the free throw. Go ahead. I mean, did it feel like an eternity? Was it like, oh my wait, god? Can you, you please? Can you set the? Can you set the record straight really quick? Yep. Were you trying to miss? Because I, I'm pretty sure you said you weren't purposely trying to miss. Bro, you know how like 
You know how like you just do stuff subconsciously? Yeah. So I looked, I made the first one. I looked at Coach Brandon, I was like, do I miss it? And he didn't answer me. <laughs> I was like, <laughs> so I was like, wait, do I miss it or not? First so time he's speechless know. in his like, life. When I was shooting, I did I didn't know. I really didn't know if I wanted to miss it or make it or not. Really? You had no I idea. I had no idea. I just, I just kind of just put it up there. Like, I didn't know if I was supposed to miss it, supposed to make it. I didn't know. Because if I knew 100% I was going to miss miss. it, I would have missed off the backboard or aimed for the backboard. That's how we practice misses. But I did, so I really didn't know. I was like, do I miss it? it Right. It was short. It was just short. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Front rim. Mommy tipped it out. Yep. And honestly, when the clock was winding down, I didn't even look at the clock. I just, I didn't, I was, the buzzer was going to go off any second. I just, I ran to half court and I said, Kia, give me the ball. I'm going (laughs) to give me the ball. Give me the ball. Give me the ball. And he threw it to mommy. I was like, oh, my God. Are you thinking game's over at that point? Because your your back is to the basket at that point? Could no, I'm kind of like I'm, – I'm, I'm, I'm kind of squared up, like, diagonal to the basket. Like, I'm, I'm at, like, right in front of half court. I ran to half court. He chased it down. I'm, like, calling for it. Like, come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. And then I see the ball go all the way to Mamadi, and I'm just like, oh, my God, like, watching it. Yeah. Like, you know what happens I mean, next? I, total shock? I, mm-hmm. <laughs> Kyle, what, uh, go ahead. I don't even remember where you were on this play. Well, so I'm I'm in the uh, same spot as him, just on the other side of the court. We both ran for the ball to uh, half court. What happened was when it got tipped out, me and Kihei were next to each other, and he's just faster than me. So he got the ball first. So I broke off and was like, same thing Ty said, give me the ball. I'm shooting, like, give me the ball. And, of course, he didn't listen. And he so he throws a rifle. I thought we won. For some reason, if you even listen to the announcer on the game, he said we won for the win. So for some reason, I thought we won. I was going crazy. Um, And then they said overtime. I was like, oh, okay. (laughs) And I had to like rewire real quick. But yeah. Like celebrating as if you won. When he makes that shot, you think in your mind, we just won. Yeah. Yeah. That's that's bad court awareness on my part. But (laughs) so so Ty doesn't know (laughs) if he's supposed to make or miss the free throw. You have no idea if you've won or or you're going to overtime. Basically, like all hell just breaks loose. Like you, have, I mean, it was just it was organized like, chaos. Organized yes. chaos because Kihei was. But calm. The, it was both sides though, because like the play before that, Carson Edwards comes down, takes a fadeaway three, goes off the backboard, and goes in. You yeah, know what I'm yeah, saying? Yeah, so yeah. it was like, listen, like, and to win an NCAA tournament, you, you need some luck, but you got to put yourself in that position to get lucky. You know what I mean? So like, it's just how so, it goes. The ball has to bounce your way sometimes. How many times have you guys seen that that play? How many times you think? Oh, Hundreds. God. Thousand? What, what play? Oh, oh, how many times? Oh, have the, I, have yeah, you yeah, watched yeah, yeah. yeah. Have you seen, I mean, have you watched it after? Oh yeah, tons of times. Yeah, tons. that's like that's away from it. like, yeah. That's I mean, so and honestly, before even after the Carson Edwards bank three, I grew up with Ryan Klein. Like, he's a tremendous shooter. Yeah. When he was a free throw line, I was like, there's no way he's missing this, yeah. and he went one for two. Yeah. So that's the only reason we had a chance. You know that play even happened. I was. So there's a lot of stuff that, that had to happen. That's why it's one of the best games ever. You had, you know, you had a collective effort of um, Virginia. Uh, like all of us were scoring and hitting on all cylinders. Carson, you know, 42 and then buzzer beaters over time, 80 points. You know, it's crazy. Somebody with a freaking blonde uh, <laughs> tie-dye hair or whatever. So it was yeah, everything Man. you wish for. That play, though, is just so crazy how that pass he made, Kihei made. Like, you watch. And, and, and Mamadi to just not bring it down. Right. 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 Well, I've, never seen down. Mamadi, I've never seen Mamadi catch the ball <laughs> high and keep it high his entire life. Never. <laughs> never. That's He'll always man, bring it down? Mom, he doesn't even shoot, like, quick release shots. You know what I mean? Right. Like, he's a good yeah. shooter when his feet are set. Don't get me wrong. Yeah. But he's never he's gonna... catch high, keep high. No, only, only Kyle did that shit in college. It's crazy. I mean, seriously, it's one of the craziest endings ever. I mean, literally, what you guys went through in that whole run was insane. I mean, if you think back to your – again, your the last two years of college and the, the highs, lows, and the drama that was involved, I, I don't think anybody can match that. Seriously, I don't – I mean, maybe like Christian Leitner, maybe. And the craziest thing is, like, I grew up, like, my dream was to play in the NBA, but I grew up watching March Madness. Like, every year, March Madness was the biggest thing for me. Yeah, so, I look back on that now, I'm like, 
like we really did it like we really did that and also me and dre and kyle like we'll still talk about it like bro we, we really went to virginia and then we said we were going to do it and we really did it and then we lost umbc and then you know then we came back and actually did it so it's just crazy to think about and then like now it's like all right gotta do it again but the NBA is just so different because you don't grow up like wanting to win an nba championship you know what i mean yeah now, now obviously you do your goals shift but like yeah. When you grow up, it's like, yo, I want to play in the Final Four. I think how crazy that looks. Yeah. yeah. No, well, because you're thinking that's more attainable, right? Probably, you're, you're or it's, it's the closer step, or maybe it's the camaraderie. Like, I don't know. The college is like – and the college experience we had, I feel like it was just – you'll never have that much, like, fun playing basketball again, you know? Mm-hmm. Before we continue that interview, I have to let you guys know that it's that time of year again. We waited two years for this moment, and it's finally here. March's biggest tournament is back. Gonzaga is getting ready to run the table. Slippers are being fit as we speak. And our partners at DraftKings Sportsbook, America's top-rated sportsbook, are putting our listeners at the center of the action. How? If you bet $4 on an underdog in a select game this week, and that underdog wins, you win $256. That's right. $256. Here's how it works. Download the app now and use the promo code FIELD68 when you sign up. Scroll through the list of select underdogs, bet $4 on them to win, and cash $256 when they do. There's no better way for you to put your college hoops knowledge to use than to put your money where your mouth is with DraftKings Sportsbook. It's safe, it's secure, it's reliable. And you can deposit and withdraw your funds at your convenience. So remember, the code is FIELD68. That's FIELD68 to turn $4 into $256. For a limited time only, must be 21 years or older. Restrictions apply. Go to DraftKings.com for details. Gambling problem? Call 1-800-GAMBLING. So, all right, Final Four, uh, Auburn, another another one that's uh, a nail-biter. Um, all right, first of all, Kyle, you got fouled, right? He got you on the leg, clearly, didn't he? It wasn't even just the leg. It was the whole body, like <laughs> A to B. Come on, this is, you know, a rest dream call right here, A to B. That's elementary Bruce, level school stuff. Bruce Pearl didn't think so. <laughs> We lose Ty. Yeah, mm-hmm. no, he's good. Um, yeah. yeah, Bruce. Bruce Pearl certainly didn't think that uh, that Bryce Brown got you there. Well, huh? I, mean, I mean, it was Samir Dowdy actually. No, it was, wasn't it Bryce yeah, Brown? No. Guy? It was Dowdy. Dowdy Bryce got... Brown's the one that was. Bryce Brown's the one that was uh, doing the choke. Oh, that's the, right. That's uh, right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But which is funny because I played uh, summer league with him that same summer. Really? So that was fun. Yeah. Um, and then John like, Harper was on a two way with Phoenix last year. Yeah, small circle. <laughs> so what? Give me that game and, and towards the end of that game, and obviously Kyle, those those three mm-hmm. uh, free throws. Um, Ty said he didn't really get nervous too much. Like you think about that, there's no more pressure than that. I mean, seriously, there's point six left to to. There's, I mean, I guess in the national title game, that would be the only other way. Yeah, I mean, it's funny because like. You grew up when to hit buzzer beaters, not like free throws. Oh, we got fouled. Can't, I got to make these free throws. You know what I mean? So, like that 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 aspect of it was a little different. But I mean, even before that, we were up eight. Ty gets his fourth foul. We go down eight or something like that. Up six, maybe. Then we go down eight. Then Ty comes back in, and we have to work our way all the way back um, again from a deficit. And we did it again in the freaking championship. We're up again. Then we went down. Eight or ten, so it just made it harder than it needed to be. But um, then we—I don't even remember exactly like the numbers exactly, but I know I hit a three before that, and then that's when we fouled Jared Harper, and he went one for two. Yeah, is that how it happened? Yeah. So then we were, and that that three, that three you hit was might have been one of the toughest shots. It was crazy. Uh, Yeah, right off balance. (laughs) Right, like fading. He did. I thought he was going to jump because he sprinted and he didn't. It was great defense. He didn't even flinch. So I had to shoot again. And, you know, but like you were dead. Like you guys at that point, like yeah. it didn't look good by any means. We dug ourselves in a hole again. Yeah, it was. And then so we're, I mean, we're, we're down, down five, we're down f- four, four. 
Yeah, four. Down four, Kyle and then I hit the three. Foul, Jetta Harper. Right, so with three seconds left, you're down four, you got the ball, basically. And then Ty double dribbles. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh, man. Man, I mean, if hey, like, honestly, people that got... guy, he fouled me when I picked the ball up because I was getting ready to yeah, launch yeah. it from half court. So thank <laughs> God he found me after that, too. <laughs> that would have been a whole different story. Me and Ty yeah, would be friends go, right now. Launch it from half court. <laughs> All right, so, yeah, but, so, but, so you go, I mean, go up there for the, 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 the yeah, free throws, yeah. and you're thinking what, Kyle? Like, what's do you even remember at all what's going on? Yeah, no, actually, I remember that part super vividly. So, um, I like – I kind of like – I like when people are heckling me. That's always been kind of my thing. So, I just naturally like when there's kind of pressure um, or, you know, there's a, a big moment on the line. And, you know, I just, I just kept telling myself, like, this is literally like everything you dream for, like championship on the line. There's 87,000 people here with however many million watching, like your whole family's here. Like, this is like, this is to be like a legendary team for your school. Like why, like, why not me? And that gave me a sense of like, like motivation, confidence to just like, because obviously I was – anyone says they weren't nervous, like, in nope. my shoes would be – like, being nervous, man, that means you're alive. So I didn't I, – I knew I was, like, nervous, but it was a good nervous. Like, I have a chance to do this great thing. And so um, first one, money. Second one was a little bit off. Yeah. Um, I remember Ty even saying, like, he, like, leaned the way it was supposed to go so it would, you know, he could use the – Bro, I thought that shit was left. I was about to cry. Yeah. Oh, yeah. If, it, like, like huh? is it like a, a, a pitcher throwing a no-hitter and nobody says anything to you, just kind of slaps you as you're going to the line? Well, well, so after I hit the – I don't remember if anyone shook my hand in between the first and second free throws, but I remember they called timeout to try to ice me, and, like, Jay and Jack came over to me and like to give me, like, a hug damn near. I'm like, yo, yo, yo. <laughs> Get away. Job's not finished. You know, job's not finished. And so – I went and did my own thing. I had no idea. Once again, coach probably told us if we were in, you know, a full court zone or we were denying someone, I had no idea. I just knew I was going to make this last free throw and whatever happened after that, I would figure it out. So if you watch after I hit, I'm like looking like, okay, what am I doing now? No idea. And no clue. I had no clue. Damn. Ty, so, what are you thinking when he's going to the line? Are you like looking – or are you like kind of like one of these where you're kind of afraid to look in a way? I was behind him, right behind him, like literally the same angle he has shooting the ball. I'm at half court, right behind him, like straight in line. Mm -hmm. And once the first one went in, I was like, all right, we're good. Like, there's no way. He did. I was like, there's no no chance he misses two in a row. So worst case, we go to overtime. You know what I mean? There's no 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 way he's missing two in a row. And I was like, we go to overtime, whatever. Like, that's the worst case. You know, so the once you made the first, I was like, "Oh, pressure's off. Like we're good." And then the second one, I was like, "Oh my god, I look left." So <laughs> there's a picture like me, Kihei, and Dre is close to us, and I'm like, "And it looks left." And I'm, I think I grabbed Kihei or something like that, and that went in. And once we got the timeout, when we got to the line, honestly, that I did, I had no doubt he was making a third one. Like no doubt he was making a third one. And then, like I said, it wasn't it wasn't enough time for him to throw in catch and shoot and all that. So. Yeah, just that's just crazy. Like when you get a, when you win that game like that, it's crazy. No, it's not. This so movie's then, gonna be so good. The movie is gonna be good. Who, <laughs> are, who who's gonna play each of you in the movie? Who who's you guys thought about this? Who's playing you? Kyle, I can barely see you by the way. The light is uh it went dark. I don't know if in Sacramento it's now probably dark out. Yeah, it's getting it's getting that's dark. Good. Sorry, that's a little better. better. Yeah, yeah, a little better. Who's playing, who's playing me? One of you guys? I don't know. George Clooney's going to play Tony. <laughs> or Jay Wright could play him. No, Jay Wright could play him. George Clooney's going to be like 75 years old at that point, still <laughs> looking good. I want to start acting, man, one day. So I'm going to play myself. You're going to play yourself. Yeah, All fun. right. All right. Yeah. Kyle, you can play yourself too. Yeah, that'd be I mean, – You guys can cool play. with that. Right. Why not? Why not? Um, all right. Fast forward. Um, you win the whole thing. You beat, you beat Texas Tech to win the whole thing. Give me the emotions, and then I want to know what the night was really like. Like, I know you guys are chill guys and whatever, but, like, to go from from that low to that high in a year, I want, like, 
were there ragers? I mean, were, were we Ron and hard that night or, or, or could you not? Um, I'll, I mean, I'll go first. I, I, so first off, we're not, it's not like we're in Charlottesville. So right. like, it's not like we're just Tom hustling Tom back. So, oh, frats and bars. You know what I mean? Like that's not, that wasn't a thing. And for me, like the, the, the best part of it, this the the utopia was afterwards. Like we had fun, but it was like our family was around us. We were all in the um, hotel. Our, we had the whole floor, whatever it was, third floor, like just for our family or whoever we gave our tickets to. And so it was kind of like it ended how it started. Um, they were consoling you a year a year ago. Uh, consoling us a year ago, right at the hotel again, and then so this time, you know, it was. You know, we were up late, but it wasn't. There was no ragers that I that I'm aware of. Um, I would have liked <laughs> an invite if there was. So um, we were just. It was just like I said, all of us together with our families and just kind of try, kind of trying to sink in. You know, let it sink in. Disbelief in a way, right? Yeah. A little bit of disbelief of of again, just kind of this is what you set out to do and to be able to do it and come from when it, you were the joke. I mean, you were you were the butt of the joke. For, for a year. And then, like, I remember Ty, who was it? it Pat Forty that you went mm. after in the, uh, in the press conference. Uh, it was <laughs> so good. God, you weren't sure. there, but it was, it was phenomenal. But it wasn't, it, and it wasn't like that article was in my mind, like the whole tournament run. I just remember after we left UMBC, I, like, I might have had to get surgery on my toe. So I was in the doctor's office. I'm just scrolling through my phone or whatever. I'm on Twitter and I see the article. So I start reading it, and it's like, yeah, Virginia has no NBA players, maybe one in DeAndre Hunter, like, right. um, all like their joke of college basketball, like all this shit, right? and, and all this crazy stuff, right? Like just killing us, like not like, oh damn, they got upset, like it's destroying us. So remember, I think the name sounded familiar when he asked me the question in the in the media room. So then I just said something. I was like, it was funny. Not a lot of guys. What did he done. say back? What did they say back? I think he was cool. Like, I don't yeah, he think was. He, yeah, he and was. Then he came, and after he won, he came up to me. He was like, I'm sorry, yeah. all this stuff. And I was like, yeah, it's not yeah. personal, man. I mean, we make – listen, you you know me. I'll, I'll own Like, we make mistakes. And, and, and honestly, just own up to them. When you make a mistake, if you own up to it, I mean, shit, it's like, like A-Rod, right? Like A-Rod owned up to it. Mark McGuire didn't. Look at the difference how they're treated, right? I mean, just own up. If you screw up, own up to it. And I've made plenty of mistakes. But if you have an opinion – you're going to make mistakes. Like that's yeah, the- I think that one just stood out to me because he was, like, killing us. Yeah, yeah, it like, was. He definitely was. One, it, and my us. take always is, hey, when you're, when you're NBA players, it's different. It's different. I'm, I can kill you a little bit more when you're making money to play the game. But, when, like, when you're in high school, I'll never kill a high school kid ever. Yeah, when you're right. in college, I'm not going to kill a college kid ever. Right. Really. And, and it's one thing to be – listen, like, we that's the life we chose like the, listen the reason we make so much money playing this game is because of the crazy fans and all the all the clicks and all the entertainment like it's a part of it is an entertainment business you know what i mean but like the stuff he was writing in that article was like tony bennett is can never be successful like he's a joke <laughs> and it's like bro like right first of all he's been to elite eight sweet 16 twice like round like only one team so he's already first successful yeah he's already successful like it's just he's, he's, just like, he's oh, own it's k and roy He's owned Kay and Roy in the ACC regular season for the last seven years. Yeah. And, like, it took Coach K, like, what, 10 years to win a national championship? Right. Yep. You know what I'm saying? So, like, he ran all this crazy stuff. And that's why part of it was, like, when we did it, I was so happy, to, like, that we could be the first team to do it for Coach Bennett, too. Mm-hmm. So, like, everyone could, like, just get off his back, too. You know what I mean? Because, like, that stuff is so stupid. You get upset. It happens. You know what I mean? Like, did he get emotional so- after that game? Did you ever see him get really emotional? No. He put saw, his head I mean, down right he, when we won. Yeah. yeah, yeah, he was probably doing his own. He's in his own way doing his yeah. thing when we won. I, I mean, he was. I mean, he's always in good spirit, so he's always smiling. But like, you could just see the joy when, uh, when we were up there on the podium doing, you know, the he slapped the name on the board and they were doing the awards and all that stuff. Like he, that was as happy. And then when we were in the locker room with all the ex players and and ex coaches, like that was a special moment that I'm sure was probably one of his favorites. Yeah. I think there's two of those, two of the, the top five moments in my life was probably watching one shiny moment with Dre and Kyle 
like sitting there and our whole team, but me, Dre, and Kyle were just sitting there like on the floor just watching it. Um, that's probably one of the most special moments. I, I look at that picture all the time. Like, yeah. um, and then in the locker room, we came back and we always do this post game thing. We put our arms around each other. And when Coach Bennett said, he was like, listen, guys, like, this is so special, but stay humble. And I was like, like, who, like, who, what, what coach, like, says that? Where shit, are like, you from? Bro? Yeah, like, most coaches are humble. <laughs> running, throwing, and he's like, we got, like, Joe Harris and Justin Anderson. And was Malcolm there? I think so. Yeah, he was there. I think uh, so. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Ron so. Sanchez. Everyone yeah, there. Ron Sanchez. We got all these former guys in the locker room, all these uh, like, guys are in the NBA. And, but it basically paved the way for us to be able to do this. And we're all in the locker room and coaches like just look like look around you, like this moment will last forever. And like there's a video of that too that I look at all the time. And like those two moments, like that's just crazy, man. I'll tell you what, it's uh I don't know what number it, it, it makes it, but it's it, it's it's up there with greatest stories in NCAA tournament history. I mean, again, because of where you where you were to where you went. Right. I mean, like that, that's that's the remarkable part of it. And that's probably what made it so much more um, gratifying to be able to do it. Right. I mean, to this day, don't you feel like the two of you and, and obviously Dre and, and, and Kihei and, and Mamadi, like you're always going to have this this bond, aren't you? Without a doubt. Even now, like me and Kyle could go two weeks without speaking and like we get on the Zoom right now and it's not awkward at all. You know what I mean? Like, it's just right. the same. Like, yeah. we see each other and it's cool. You know what I mean? Like, it's just – and it's deeper than, like, oh, hey, what's up? Like, it's – like, I'll watch Sacramento games without even talking to him and, like, and hope he hope he plays and hope he gets his chance. Like, in the preseason, when he was hooping like that and killing, I didn't even have to reach out to him. He knew – he like, I'm watching yeah. him. You know, I'm rooting for him. Like, it's just different. And, like, same with Kihei now. Like, I watch him. Yeah. If he reaches out to me for advice, I'm always here. If not, I'm just watching and rooting for him. And then when we all see each other again – we're gonna have a great time. So it's like yeah. that that thing just brings you so close. And we're all at different points in our life and our lives right now. So like it's different, but like we'll never even Mamadi, I haven't spoken to Mamadi in a while, but when right. I see him again, like isn't this it's gonna be you know like, like best friends Mama I haven't do. seen each other in a while. Yeah, exactly. So like pick right up where special. you left off. It's just and you're probably yeah. will will you guys talk like do you think you will because you can embrace now the UMBC loss, right? You can embrace it. Is it is it now where you'll talk about everything? You think like in 20 years when you guys get together for a reunion, will it be UMBC and the, the national title run? At, well, one, yes. But even, I mean, we talked about it. Do you remember we were in Isaiah Wilkins and Jack Salt's apartment and we were literally reading off who had the worst DMs? Mm -hmm. Do you remember this? We yeah, literally right, were reading got, like yeah, who had the 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 people who hated us the most, like yeah. whether it was death threats or like you, whatever it was. Like we were just reading them off and we were laughing about it. I think while they were playing Kansas State, because that's the only other game I really watched until the championship. Really? Yeah. And I remember usually like, so, like right when the season ends, usually like a week at like the week right when the season ends, we would like have some fun, relax. I remember me and Kyle. I remember vividly remember like, we were like. We were in a car together. We went to Zaxby's. I don't know if you remember this. Yeah, and yeah, yeah, we, I know. We drove to Zaxby's and we're like, all right, bro, like, because we we're like, all right, take this week to decompress, like, whatever. We didn't work out. We, you know, ate fried chicken, a bunch of BS, and we're like, yo, let's take this week to decompress. Then we'll start working out again. We're just talking about all these different things. Like, this summer, I'm going to do this. Kyle got invited to, like, some USA team. And he was like, yo, I might do this. I don't know, though, because I might want to stay here and, like, really lift and all this stuff. And, like, we just planned out exactly what our summer was going to be. Like we went out and, and did it. Like we planned it, we did it, and we executed it. And it was like you think about stuff like that, and that's what makes it so cool. You know what I mean? I think to answer your, your reunion question, I'm just excited to see if Mommy has kids and if Dre has kids. That's what I'm most excited to see. <laughs> yeah, yeah, and me too. Sure. That's, Kyle, that's, you that's have, cool. Do you have a kid yet, Kyle? No, no. All right, <laughs> you never know. You move quickly. You move. Yeah, you move I do. Move the quickly. rest of us in this on this planet. That's, all right, that's true. But it's a no, fair question. Uh, it's a fair question, right? But no, I mean, probably. I mean, by the reunion, yes, I will. Um, but you know, I am excited for the reunion. That'd be so much fun. Love you guys. I mean that. Love you guys. It was great seeing you. It was great reminiscing. I mean that. And uh, it's been too long, Kyle. I saw Todd last year when, right before the pandemic, actually, right before it hit. Right. Uh, 
my wife, my daughter, and I were out there in in uh, in San Fran. And San Francisco, yeah. Yeah, so it was it was good to see you then. And listen, keep grinding, both of you. I mean it. I'm I'm really proud of both of you. Um, get 10, 12 years in this damn league. Save your money, um, but enjoy it too. Enjoy it. Spend some money, but save some money. How's that? Right. Everybody says. Yeah. Everybody says save it all. Fuck that. Fuck. That. Nah, you work Spend too hard to save it all. You work too hard to save everything. Yeah. <laughs> All right, listen, you guys know where to find me. If you need anything, you call me, all right? Appreciate it.